an app. Um, got Catboy there going across the screen. Owlet. Now, I think you'd be controlling this with a direction pad down here. Got a Luna Girl. Got her little um, butterfly moths, haven't we? And then at the end, you get a score. What I like about this Super City run is that there's a lot more going on. Look at the background. You've got a lot more decisions about where to go. You've got a lot more things to collect. And also things like this. Watch out. <laughs> if you run into that trash, you're going to lose points. And at the end of the game, you get an overall score. 17. And you also get a star score as well. And also you get a speed score. So lots of different things to try and achieve. And I think lots of reasons to play it again and again with each character. But what we're going to do now is get up close with some direct capture footage from the game. We'll run it slightly slowly so we can talk through what's happening in real time. So here we go. Let's have a really close look at this app that we're all going to be playing really soon and get us some practice. So Catboy is going left and right and up. And each time he collects a mask, his totem fills up. When it's full, he gets his super supersonic power. Now, Owlette will do the same. We don't get to see what her power is because she doesn't manage to fill her little bar at the bottom there before she runs into the trash. Again, we'll see Gecko. So you have to avoid some of these enemies and also collect things. If he collects that bike, he's going to get an extra super boost and you can see the stars flashing there and again at the end you can see he scored 17 he got 44 stars and it 495 on the speed and you'll be able to download the app on itunes on google play on amazon on the 8th of december but not only that we've got these picks from the new episode super size gecko and take the skies outlet that's coming up early december on disney junior so there you go, that's the new PJ Masks Super City run. But if we come back into our PJ Masks website app, you can see it is updating and it gives us a new version of the app. If we go home, you can see a whole load of different aspects of the app here. So you still have the same meeting each of the heroes. And I don't know if you've done this. It's great fun to go and have a look at Catboy in his new updated form. <laughs> and of course you can see him as Connor as well. You can even have a look at the cat car. Owlet is still here. Pop back to see Owlet. Slightly updated, I think, visually. Nice spin. You can look at those wings on the back. We've got Amaya <laughs> as well. Um, and we carry on to Gecko. We've got him here. We've got Romeo, of course. Give him a spin. And we've got Night Ninja. We don't have the Ninjalinos though. I'd like them to see. To, I'd like to see them add those Ninjalinos, but of course we do have Luna Girl. What I hadn't noticed before though, you've got those two games in addition to the ones we've been looking at, Super City Run. Whether that will appear here, maybe we'll have another space down here for Super City Run as well. I'm not sure. If you go into Make, now I hadn't seen this before. There's loads more Make things. So you've got Owlet's Mask. You can download that. Sorry, Catboy's mask, Owlet's mask, and then you've got Gecko's mask. You can download them and chop them out, which we like doing in our family. The gloves I hadn't seen before, really nice idea. But over here, I hadn't seen these. You've got Catboy amulet, Owlet amulet, and Gecko amulet. Really nice. You can make a little belt out of those. You've also got the villain mask. We've got Romeo mask, Luna Girl mask, Night Ninja mask. If we go across here, you've got lots of colouring in. I think I'd seen the colouring in before. Is that something you do? Um, but I hadn't seen the dot to dot. I think that's maybe part of a new update. And then you've got the Maze Adventure game as well. So some really nice little things you can go and play with, maybe over the holiday period, and you can do those for free. Um, if we pop back to here, of course you've got these two games you can play in the app. You've got this new game coming up. It will be out on the 8th of December. Um, and we've been looking at that. But you've also, of course, you've got PJ Masks, Here it comes, Moonlight Heroes, which we've really enjoyed as well. And my kids have got really good at getting through these. Who are we going to pick? Let's be uh, Gecko. See if I can get three stars as we start to wind up this little video. Um, you can see in the back we've got our little, our little um, different vehicles. Oh, I need to pay attention. Different vehicles there. Um, which of those do you have? Do you have any of those vehicles? Um, of course, it's Christmas time. We're coming up to Christmas time. So maybe, come on, can I get all these? <laughs> maybe it'll be time for you to expand your collection of PJ Masks toys. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Oh, we can get those now. Which PJ Masks toys are you collecting? Which ones have you got already? Which ones are you needing to get, hoping to get as a present? 
There you go. Now, that's surely that's three stars. There you go. Three stars on Gecko. Let's move on. What I want to do, though, is can I do three stars on Owlet? I found the Owlet levels a little bit harder. I think playing this game gives you a feel for how the new game, the City Run um, game, is going to be. Woo! Got a different play style here. This one's a bit harder because you've got to think ahead with Owlet. Whoopsie daisy. I wonder if I lose stars for that. But that's the City Run game. It's quite different. You play it, play it the other way up. So it's a vertical game. And I think it's a bit more tactical. Ooh. I know my boys will be looking forward to playing that. Ooh. Is it going to be a game that you play? I'd like to hear from you. Um, and what sort of games do you think they should think PJ Masters should do next? Come on. Oh, I missed a few at the bottom. Did I get three stars? One, two. Yay! Three stars. So there you go. That is Owlet, which just means I've got time to pop in and look at Gecko before I go. So, see these ones have been done already. I'm, a bit, I'm not going to do the first one. I'm going to move on. Oh, wait a minute. We've done Gecko, haven't we? I think I'm getting a bit mixed up here. <laughs> We've done Gecko already. Let's go back. Go back home. I don't want to do Gecko. I want to do Catboy. Getting my PJ Masks heroes mixed up. Now, I like Catboy because it's a jumping, it's a platform game. Whoa! A little bit more like a running game. I think a little bit more like the new City Run game. But, of course, again, different direction. You're going side to side on the iPad or the Android app. Woo! Jumping. We're going to have a full Let's Play of the new app quite soon. But it'll just take us a little while to get set up with that. So we thought we'd bring you the, the footage of it. Whoa! Can I double jump? That's quite hard. Um, before, so you can see a, a sneak peek of what's coming up. You can tell all your friends in the playground, I've seen the new PJ Masks app. Have you seen it? Um, and we'd love to hear from you. What do you think? I got them all. Wow. What do you think of that new app? Is it what you're looking for in a PJ Masks game? How do you think they should extend the current apps? Um, and which of these toys have you got? Are you looking forward to a big haul of PJ Masks toys for Christmas? Let's go back here. Now, if you, if you subscribe,